Hi everybody, welcome to Watches Galore. Um, glad to be with you today. And um, I got a short vid today on, on some loom I want to show you. So I thought, you know, I thought it was kind of interesting. I was thinking about it this week. So I thought I'd bring it to you. But before I do that, um, everybody's talking about Paul Thorpe uh, leaving the watch community. And I would like to say goodbye to Paul, and I hope to see you again soon. You know, I, I feel it's a really big shame that um, that a few people have to ruin it for all. Um, and usually that's how it works in society, you know. A few people um, screw up everything for, for the masses. So um, I hope things work out for you, Paul. And... Um, I hope anybody that uh, you know decides to start a channel like that, uh, go ahead and do it, do it, because um, it's it's uh, it's always good to have guys like Paul out there. I mean, he was very knowledgeable. I mean, he knew pff, more about watches than uh, probably half the the watch community combined. So um, anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, good luck, Paul. I hope things turn out well for you. And uh, let's get let's get to seeing this loom here right after this. Okay guys, here they are, got, got them focused. Uh, excuse the, wash, uh, the dishwasher in the background, I just brought these in and laid them on the countertop, wanted to show you this. I was thinking today, I, th I thought it was very interesting. These are sister companies, although very different divers. Uh, on the right, the saturation, orient saturation diver. On the left, the uh, Seiko SKX. But I just wanted to show you the loom comparison here because they're sister companies and they both use their own loom. So on the left, the SKX, they use uh, their own proprietary loom, Loom Bright. On the minute, hour, second hand, and minute markers with the bullet at 12. And the Orient uses their own loom. <clears throat> it's a Nimoto, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Nimoto loom for their company on the minute hand, hour hand, second hand, and minute markers, and the bullet on the top. I just thought it was interesting, just thought you might like to see it. Yeah, they're different divers, and I'm sure the Orient probably uses a, or app, uses a stronger or a thicker application of loom on theirs than the Seiko, but um, I just wanted to throw that out there today for you, if anyone's interested. Hey, if you like it, please subscribe. I'm going to come at you with some more vids. Have a great day and take care. Stay well.